I guess you could call this a house called to a place where, well, not everything is as it seems. Chris is answering an unusual SOS from a film set in Melbourne. And turn over. Rolling. Okay. And action. A movie called Oddball is underway. It's about a colony of penguins, which is saved and then protected by a Maremma guard dog. The call for help has come from concerned producer Richard Keddy, who's worried about one of the film's major stars. We've had a few issues with the animals, in particular one of our dogs. We've got an understudy dog, Miko, who got really, really sick. Um, we don't know. We think he's picked up a bug or something. Yeah, good boy. The welfare of the dog is everything to us. It's like the welfare of our actors. He's one of our key actors. So if something happens to our dogs, our movie stops. Richard, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, how are you? Good to see you too. Good to see you. How are you? All right. Hey, Kai. This isn't the dog you worry about. I mean, no, it looks no, fine. No, 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 not this one. It's it's his understudy. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's the one that's having a little bit of a, a problem at the moment. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where is this dog you worried about? I've got him okay. isolated from from this one, so okay. uh, we can go and have a look if you right. right. No worries. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Thanks. Good that's boy. Right. It is a big concern for me because, you know, nobody wants to see a, an animal sick. But also, yeah, I'm very close to Miko. To see him sort of go down so quickly, it was a real concern. Good boy. Just over the last few hours, Miko has had a lot of vomiting and a lot of diarrhoea. It's come on quickly too. So he's normally pretty lively? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At home, he just runs around like a loony. He loves playing. Um, yeah, no, he's very, very active at home. So this is this is very quiet for him. This is very quiet. Yeah. So something's obviously stirred him up pretty severely. Mm. And you can see, you know, wh whatever it is, it, it is knocking the wind out of him. While it's not uncommon to see cases of vomiting and diarrhoea, when they come on quickly like this, they are a cause for concern because this can be a sign of something a lot more serious, like pancreatitis, or even in a big dog like Miko, a twisted stomach. In the few hours before this all came on, where was he? He was back at home. Yeah. He'd been out in the paddock for a run in the morning, came straight here. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a mystery as to why he suddenly got this bug of some sort. Yeah. Chris is on a movie set in Melbourne. He's trying to find out what has caused Miko, one of the film's major stars, to suddenly become ill. While it's not uncommon to see cases of vomiting and diarrhoea, they are a cause for concern. If I'm going to be any chance of working out exactly what's going on with Miko, he needs a full check right now. Let's just have a listen. I just want to have a bit of a, a listen up around his, his belly here and see what his digestive system's doing. By listening with the stethoscope, I'm actually trying to hear those little gut sounds. How often those sounds occur tells me how well Miko's gut is performing. OK, so the first thing I can tell you here is that his intestines are contracting a little bit more quickly than... than we'd normally expect. OK. While a normal dog should have a gut sound about every three seconds, Miko's gut is constantly churning. The sounds never seem to stop. We're just looking for any signs of pain that he, he might show as I just squeeze him in the front part of his belly, around where his, Good boy. his stomach and liver is. He's just tucking his head a little bit there yep. and shying away when I do that. So given where he's a bit sensitive, which is in the middle part yep. of his belly, that, that's around where most of his intestines are. So I feel like we can probably localise the issue to there at the moment. OK, let's get a temperature from him as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to tell us is if he's got a serious infection going on in that area or right. whether it's just something internal that's upset his stomach, yeah. essentially. Good boy. So 38.3. Mm. Yeah. So that's a, that's a normal temperature, which is, which is good news. Yeah. Without any pain around his pancreas and with a normal temperature, we can rule out pancreatitis and any sort of serious infection. So what we're left with is essentially gastroenteritis. The most common cause of that is Miko eating something he shouldn't. If I had to put a bet on it, I'd say that when he was out in the paddock this morning having his walk, he's probably picked up some poo yeah. or a little bit of something that was, was dead, yeah. had a bit of a swallow of it, thought, geez, that tasted nice, but tasting it the second time wasn't so good. So his body hasn't liked it, and now it's trying to get rid of it. Miko's going to get two treatments from me. First of all, an injection to settle his stomach and stop that feeling of nausea. And then secondly, he's going to get some liquid, which goes through his digestive system, coats everything, and calms it all down. There you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Jeez, the 
training's paid off. Now that Chris has checked him out thoroughly, he'll be ready to go in 24 hours, and uh, that, that is a big relief. Obviously, no, no water for a few more hours, and if he just rests, I think it'll be the best possible thing for him. Fantastic. All right. Thank you very much, Thanks, Chris. Luke. All right. No worries. Catch See you, you later. See ya. Cheers. Come on, mate. Good boy. All right. In Melbourne, Chris is on the set of Oddball, a movie about a Victorian penguin colony which is protected from foxes by a farmer and his Marema guard dog. He's just treated Miko, one of the film's major stars. But before he leaves, he wants to meet six other noisy little performers. Uh, how are you going? Oh, good, how are you going? Yeah, all right. The small stars, huh? The small stars, yeah. There the penguins go. have travelled from SeaWorld on the Gold Coast to work on the movie. I'll try to get them over this way so you can hop over the fence. Come on, guys. In all, there are six little penguins on this movie set, and they all have their own personalities, and all those personalities have to be managed by someone. And that someone is Katie. As animal trainers, it's important to make sure that you watch how they look, how they're behaving, their mobility every mm. morning. They look like they enjoy their fish. They love their pilchards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying they're fat. I'm no. just saying they look in, in good, healthy condition. That's our goal. That's our goal. Have happy, healthy birds. Yeah, we're pleased. We're pleased with how they're doing. And I think it's, it's been a challenge. And I think it's a nice learning curve for us to see how much they're capable of. Not only do they look, you know, they look shiny and they look like they're in great condition, but it's the level of activity and just how mentally aware they are. Yeah. They're very inquisitive and always looking around for the next adventure. Exactly. That's how it appears to us too. They, they, they seem very happy and healthy and mm. really relatively unstressed as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Yeah. yeah. Sure, you can tell a lot about a penguin just by looking at the condition of them, and these guys are certainly looking well fed. They've got nice, thick plumage, and they're shiny, which is usually a good indication of health. But also, there's something else I look at. I just watch them and see how they behave. And at the moment, you can see they're really moving as a group. They're inquisitive, and they're interested in their environment, which is always a good sign, because an active mind in penguins is a healthy mind. They're having a good time. I think it's a bit of fun and diverse and, yeah, they're doing all right. They're doing all right, yeah, yeah. And now these pint-sized stars are heading back to work. Come on, guys, come on. Chip, come on, eat it, come on. It's not every day that you're called out to be the vet on a film set. For me now, it's a wrap. Let me go out and go. Great. That was great.